Hey, Will here from Peep C Coach. So, it's finally here. TikTok Pixel with Gearbubble. I'm going to show you how to install it, how to use it, how to do everything with it. So, go into your listing and go to Tracking Pixels, which is right here. It just says, like, this is in the Gearbubble dashboard. Go to Tracking Pixels for your product. You can see I'm using Do My Badass Daughter as an example. And they give you all the step, steps here, but basically, all you really need is the Pixel ID. So, you're going to log into your account. You click there, you'll log in. I can do that. I'm already logged in, but you'll be taken here, which will go to your page, and then you're going to go to the events manager. So click there, then go to the events, assets, events, which is right here, which I'll show you. Click here, go to assets, events, and then we're going to follow the steps. Uh, now click on the manage button under the web events section, click here. See what they show. Yeah. Manage. And then I don't really need the rest of the instructions, but I'll go through them with you. Click on the Setup Web Events button, select the TikTok Pixels option, enter the pixel name, and click on the next button. So we'll go here. And then we're going to click this Setup Web Events, enter a pixel name. We'll call this Gear Bubble Pixel. <coughs> and then go back here. Select the TikTok pixel and enter the pixel name. So, TikTok pixel. <coughs> Next. And then they say to manually install the code. Click the next button. Manually install. Click next. And it'll take us to a page. Oh, we got to use the event builder or custom code. So, what do they suggest? Custom code. So, we'll go to custom code. Next. There we go. And now, uh, click on the copy pixel code button and click on the next button to complete the setup. So here, this is your code here. So what they want to do is you copy the code. Now what I would do is just go to Google, go to a Google Doc, create a new one. And just paste that code in here without formatting. And this right here is that pixel code. So you want to take this code, copy it. It's where it says ttq.load, and then that CDP 5K SR blah, 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 blah. Well, that's going to be your code. So paste the copied TikTok pixel code on any text editor and copy the TikTok pixel ID from there. Paste the pixel ID, copy to step 8 in the TikTok pixel ID above, and boom. There you go. Now we're just going to click Update. And what we've done, now on Gearbubble, when you click update, it never does like go to the top. It doesn't auto scroll, but if you auto scroll, it's updated. So what they've done now on, and I'll show you my product. This is basically like, <laughs> to my badass daughter, whenever you feel inadequate, unworthy or unloved, remember whose daughter you are. Straighten your crown. You're awesome. I'm so proud of you. Love you always and forever. So if I go to the TikTok pixel helper now, which is right here, you can see I got Gearbubble has their own pixel on there. And that's mine. So now on this page, uh, Gearbubble is pixeling the page, and I am. That's the pixel I just created. If I go to buy it now, you'll see, boom. And then we go to the pixel helper. I think it'll be the same one. Yeah, it, it's not doing the pop up, but that's okay. And then if I go like check out with card, watch what happens with the pixel helper. We shall see. Oh, good thing it didn't have my credit card information there. We shall see here that there it is add to cart so once somebody gets it so now you have view content you have add to cart and once i buy this if i bought this and i check my pixel again i would also have the uh, purchase on there now on tiktok instead of called being called purchase it's called complete payment which is weird i don't know why they did that but um, on Facebook, it's called the purchase event. On TikTok, it's called the complete payment event. So if I did go through and buy this, I would get that. Um, I don't really want to buy it because I don't really... Actually, I could probably give this as a Christmas gift if I wanted. Hmm. Should I do that? No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Um, but now you're probably wondering, like, what can I do with this Pixel stuff? What, what's, what use is it? Well... Prior to this, we couldn't actually add a TikTok pixel to our 
our sales page or to the add to cart page, we can only add it to the purchase page, which is the thank you page after somebody buys. What that means is, um, and it, and honestly, it didn't really fire uh, correctly all that time. So what I used to do is I would come in here and I would go to third party and that code, you can see I've got it in, in here already. It wasn't really firing all that accurately for me. There's a complete payment event too. So you would have to add that whole thing. You would have to create your event and add it prior to this. Now, Gear, since Gearbubble's updated this and they got the TikTok pixel ready to go, super easy. Um, they're just taking the code for you and putting it into the page and it's super simple to use. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is this thing, TikTok pixel helper? Well, I'll show you. If you go to um, extensions in Google Chrome, and it can only be done on Chrome, so go to extensions. And we'll go here, the Chrome Web Store. So here's all the extensions that you can get for your Chrome. And we'll go Tick Talk Pixel Helper. And you want to install this. Where is it? Oh, did I miss it? I spelled it wrong. Okay, I don't see it coming up in here. Maybe because I already have it installed. Oh, extensions. Interesting. Well, let's go back here. And in here, they should have a link to it. Oh, one other thing. If you don't hit next here, um, in TikTok, it's not going to work. There it is. Okay. So Pixel Helper, once you create it in here, there's a Pixel Helper. You can install the Pixel Helper to check if your Pixel Code or events were installed properly. Learn more. Let's just open that up. And then you can click that install thing too. This should go to the page. Page isn't working. Okay. So let's go to install. <laughs> oh man. There it is. Okay. So this is the URL here. It's uh, web store detail TikTok dash pixel dash helper and then a bunch of gibberish. So maybe I could put, I'll put this link down below uh, in the description of the video so that you have it. Because without this little pixel checker, which is right here, uh, you can't see if your pixels are working on your products or not. So what this allows us to do is basically send, pro send ads from TikTok right to Gearbubble on the platform. Uh, without having to do any any code manually and, it, and it's going to work properly it's going to fire properly we can optimize for view content we can optimize for add to cart we can optimize for, for purchase now one tip too when you're in TikTok, let's go back here i'm just going to delete this so one thing you need to know when you're running just a little tip for TikTok ads you can only i'll just put this you can only optimize for pixel events that have fired already. What this means is now you can optimize for view content. So view content and add to cart will be available as long as you visit those page, but complete payment will not be available until someone actually buys it and that pixel event fires and just a caveat here too um so for tiktok ads the pixel is broken up into two parts there's the base code and then there's the event code okay so the base code is what gearbubble is going to add to every page and they've taken the event code like view content, add to cart, and complete payment, and they're going to put that on the on the corresponding pages. So the view content event is going to go on the sales page. So when some, when anybody lands on the sales page, it's going to go there. When somebody adds to cart, that event code add to cart is going to fire on the add to cart page, and complete payment is going to fire on the thank you page after somebody pays. So when you go to set up your TikTok ad campaign sending it to Gearbubble directly you're not going to be able to optimize for any event that has not fired yet so what I suggest is install the pixel and then go to your page and then add it to cart at minimum 
That way you can use view content and add to cart when you're setting up your TikTok ad campaign and you're trying to optimize for conversions. Okay. If you really want to get advanced, I mean, <clears throat> you could take, you could get the product and you could order it. And then that will be recorded back here, as you'll see in your events manager. I go back here, I'm going to go complete setup. And then we will see the events I've fired for that so far on this page. So this is my gear bubble pixel. Here's the events. So you can see now I can create an ad campaign for add to cart and I can create one for view content. Prior to Gearbubble do, making this move, we could not create a view content or an add to cart one. The only way we could actually get uh, a conversion campaign running in TikTok ads was by buying the product ourselves and hoping that the third party code fired properly. Now, usually it did fire properly, but even with this kind of tracking, um, there's gonna be issues. Uh, just like Facebook ads is not gonna track correctly uh, with this. Even, well, you're not using Facebook ads, but there may be some loss of tracking because of uh, pixels not firing or cookies not being set. But that's a whole different story for another day. Anyway, what this means is instead of setting up a traffic campaign, I can set up a view content or add to cart. What I'm going to do is um, I just wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys step by step how to set it up. And I know the, the other question I'm going to get is what, what the heck are you talking about? Well, let's go here. I'm talking about the platform. So beer, bu gear, beer bubble, beer bubble is not a bad name, maybe I should buy that. Uh, gear bubble, it's not this get started, okay? It's this one, sell on, nope, sorry. It's this link right here, launch product. So when you go launch product on gear bubble, this is their free platform. If you hit get started, this is their uh, gear bubble pro platform, which is kind of like Shopify. If you go into sell on a marketplace, you can sell on Amazon, eBay, or Etsy. So these are called integrations, but this is what I'm talking about, launch product. So when you launch, when you create an account here, you'll go into their dashboard, you'll be able to launch a product, any of their products that you have for free, and then you can run traffic directly to it, okay? So that's what I'm talking about in this scenario for Gearbubble. Now, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to fire up a whole bunch of TikTok ads directly to the platform. That's my jam. That's how I made like seven figures, more than seven figures now over the years. So I'll be going into this extensively. If you need any help, let me know in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see a full demo of uh, launching a TikTok ad campaign to a product on Gearbubble, let me know in the comments. I can do that for you too. I've been doing this for a long time. And of course, you know, like, share, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel, all that great stuff. And if you need help with TikTok ads and Gearbubble, I'm your man. Have a great day. We will talk to you soon.